Hey everyone, uh, I've been spending some time trying to get up uh, using Windows 7 for some development uh, of C and Python um, or for that matter any other language. Um, so one of the key things that I miss on Windows is uh, the command line utilities that you that are almost always there on any Linux system. Things like wget, things like curl for downloading files so it's like when I want to download a file I, I really want to use curl instead of opening it in the browser going to do say you know, op then doing a save as you know it, it's just too much of hassle so on Linux I love the way I can just download it using one of those command line utilities uh, I just came across uh, this project on github which is called GNU on Windows um, as you can see uh, so I'm on the wiki page now is github.com b metzel g o u g g o w wiki um it's a lightweight alternative sigwin as the github page says like if you know sigwin you know that it's also a project which strives to bring you um posix or linux utilities to windows um of course sigwin also allows you to install things like a gcc compiler and my and various other things whereas um, GOW it aim, uh, I think the target or the, the purpose that GOW exists is to bring you all the Unix binaries uh, for uh, like I said for example wget and curl so as you can see if you on on the list of executables that GOW currently gives you you can see if you're familiar with Linux or any other Unix, you will know, know you will you will instantly note that these are really the basic ones, like the base name, which is for extracting the um, ex extracting directory and file names and from a uh, path. Um, chown, chmod, chgrb, grp, head, join, md5 sum, mkdir, mknode, printf, um, bunzip, curl, diff. Uh, zip, vim, wget. So y you can see there are a bunch of utilities there. Um. Okay. So yeah. So what I'm going to do is before just so you can just browse for yourself and see what else you have. You, you you can get out of GW, but I'm just going to go ahead and start the installer. So you can go to the download page. If you click on the installer the exe will start downloading and I have got a copy downloaded for myself so I'm just going to start the installation do a yes uh, GNU GPL license uh, so it asks you what do you want to install so what is the core conference there is a command prompt here which we will shortly see what it means it's really useful go next uh, the install location if you, can, if you want you can change that go next install uh, and as it installs, we'll just take a look around. Uh, it has a FAC, Linux command resources, and of course similar projects. All right, so the English is completed. So I'll just do a close. Okay, so let's take a tour of GOW. So one of the cool features that when the website mentions is starting a command prompt from anywhere on the command line. So for example. I I had some files here, let's say work. So I'll just click on it and do you see this command prompt here? This is this is one of the things that GW has given us. So you can start the command line and we are at work and I'm just going to see if we have curl installed. And there you see. Isn't that cool? Yeah, so we have got curl, we've got wget, we have got ls. Um I can well, and of course, I think, uh, well, <laughs> anyway, so, yeah, okay, so, well, ignore the last two bits, I was just playing around uh, without knowing really what I was doing, but anyway, um, so, okay, so, as you, as you notice, like, so, GOW, it, it, it installed those binaries, it also added the relevant paths to the Windows path variable, so let us just take a look there and see what it has changed. Go to properties, advanced settings, and variables. 
let's see if it has changed anything here and indeed it has so as you can see it has added this path to it GW bin which is where the binaries would be located so that's really neat uh, this is just uh, I just feel that this is um, this is going to give me um, a, a huge um, you know a relief I would say to actually start windows sometimes when I need to so that I you know, and I not miss those utilities in fact I was just thinking that I should spend some time writing up a simple script in Python to download files but I just, since I discovered GW, I don't need to do that. Uh, well, hope you enjoyed the screencast and uh, hope you get to try GW. Uh, really awesome stuff um, by the developer uh, Brent. Uh, shout out to him. Uh, Alright, uh, till the next screencast. Bye bye.